Hello and welcome to Conquering Alba, where we take you to the historical places that make Scotland what it is today. Today we are in Dunmore near Falkirk as we visit the Elphinstone Tower. The tower dates back to the early 16th century when it was built by Sir John Elphinstone as the seat of the barony of Elphinstone. Alexander Elphinstone, the fourth Lord of Elphinstone, added a gallery and a new hall before his death in 1638. The Elphinstone estate was purchased for £16,000 by John Murray, son of the 3rd Earl of Dunmore in 1754. Two years later he inherited the earldom and renamed the estate Dunmore after his title. The tower was extended at some point, although there is little evidence that it was occupied. In the 1820s, the 5th Earl commissioned the building of Dunmore Park as the principal residence on the estate, the additions to the tower were demolished to allow construction of St Andrew's Episcopal Church, a private chapel completed around 1850. The tower was subsequently restored and the ground floor remodelled as the family burial vault. The Murray family left Dunmore in 1911 and the tower has since decayed. The Church of St Andrew was also demolished in the early 1960s and the northwest angle of the tower collapsed after a storm in around 1968. The tower stands 30 by 24 feet and the walls are 56 foot high to the parapet. Originally, the tower would have had views across the low laying ground to the River Forth. The burial vault on the ground floor has been cleared out and thankfully there are no bodies or coffins left. Although behind the tower there are a small grouping of gravestones. The burials within the churchyard predate this building.
The tower, when it was intact in the 1960s, was a rectangular tower with four storeys, each containing a single room. The walls vary between 1.50 metres and 1.60 metres in thickness, and the basement was vaulted. A doorway at the ground floor level accessed the basement from the south, and a second one on the west side led straight to the stairs and the west wall which assessed a winding stair in the southwest corner accessing all levels. Parts of the first floor to the north and south can still be seen but the rest of the tower has collapsed and the first floor walls and floor surface are overgrown with vegetation. Although it is possible to climb up the pile of rubble from the tower to access the first floor. As we enter the door from the east, you can see that it is occupied by stone storage shelving used for coffins when it was the original family mausoleum. We hope you have enjoyed today's video here at the Elphinstone Tower. If you wish to see more of Scotland's historical places, then please like and subscribe for more. And until next time, Alba Gobra!